I want to muddy up a depth chart as well. But it's not going to be running backs. I'm going to muddy up the evil uh, Bears counterparts in the NFC North of the Green Bay Packers. We're talking about their wide receivers. I've hemmed and hawed about this all damn offseason on this show, so I'm putting it in writing here. Christian Watson finishes within 30 fantasy points of or worse than Romeo Dobbs. What I mean by that, mm -hmm. either, sure, Christian Watson is better, but it's very close by mm -hmm. season's end, or he's not even better. And Romeo Dobbs actually ends up being the fantasy wide receiver that you want out of this bunch. I just, I've tried so hard to understand the ADP discrepancy with these guys, and I, I still can't get there. As of now, as of last I checked on Fantasy Pros, Christian Watson is the wide receiver 23 in ADP. Romeo Dobbs is the wide receiver 65 in ADP. Whatever your opinion about camp hype, we've heard, we've seen, oh, Romeo Dobbs is Jordan Love's favorite guy in camp. He's getting all the targets and he's unguardable. Maybe that's just because the Packers defense sucks or their defensive coordinator more mm -hmm. accurately sucks. Maybe that's all it is. But maybe there's something to this because in the games that those two actually played together last year, few as there might have been, I think there was like seven that they actually played together and they were both relatively healthy at the same mm -hmm. time. Here's what their numbers were, though. I know it's a different quarterback and all that, but Christian Watson had 36 targets. Dobbs had 38. Christian Watson had 23 receptions. Dobbs had 25. Watson had 262 yards. Dobbs had 251. I understand the touchdown appeal of Christian Watson, and maybe that's still there to some extent this season with Jordan Love. I hope so. As a Packer fan, obviously, I mm -hmm. hope so. But one beautifully thrown pass in camp to Christian Watson does not equate a sustainable season-long type of connection. And I just think Romeo Dobbs is a, a safer outlet for the quarterback. So I'd like to be proven wrong because that means that Watson is probably a stud. But I think this is going to be really close, and I'm not going to draft Watson probably and redraft, especially in our home league. There's no chance. Christian Watson is going to be like a first-round pick. Oh, I, um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes in like the early fourth. In our I think league. earlier. You I do? Think early fourth I, I, is I, I, almost where he's going. He's like in the fifth round, I think, right now for okay. traditional. I, I mean, I was going to say in the third, but that just felt, yeah. as I was kind of going through like wide receiver, you know, just it's how our happen. home league goes. I'm like, that seems a little early, but early is probably where I need to be. So, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. And to that effect, in that league, Romeo Dobbs will go much higher than what his ADP yes. is as well. Yes. And so maybe I won't even get to draft him there. Probably uh, not. I hope, <laughs> I hope so. But I've been trying to accrue him in Dynasty certainly everywhere that I can because we've talked about his value not even being worth a second round pick apparently in mm -hmm. Dynasty right now. Just, just It is crazy. But again, just uh, there's so many question marks here. Why this discrepancy? It doesn't make sense to me. So I'm going bold with it. Nice. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one, um, only because of of the discrepancy of where they're being drafted right now. Um, mm -hmm. and, and let's be honest, Christian Watson put on the highlight reel last year with all the touchdowns and everything. Yeah. Uh, will we continue to see that and see those big plays? I hope so, as you said. Um, word out of camp um, is that Jordan Love is looking fairly good and fairly comfortable in the offense. So uh, that gives me hope as a Packer fan, but right. yeah, we, we won't know uh, until it goes. Uh, seeing how high Watson's going is really surprising. Um, I know he did great things last year, but Aaron Rodgers is a different kind of quarterback uh, compared to pretty much everyone else in the league, uh, even at, you know, 40 years old. Um, so it's, I, I don't know. I, I'm not totally in on Christian Watson as, as a, high-end fantasy asset right now um and i'll gladly take the l on that if it happens at the end of the season he puts up a great season i will i will be on the show and i will say i'm wrong and i will admit to it but right now i just i have a hard time believing it i want to believe i'm like fox Mulder. i want to believe 
<laughs> I just I just can't quite yet. So uh, yeah, that's an interesting one, Jake. I, I think um, I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, panned out that way, just with uh, the unknowns in this offense right now. <laughs> 